today we got Ten Barrels Swill. Ten Barrel Brewing. Um, I believe was it Anheuser Busch that bought them. Yes. Yeah. Uh, used to be a local brewery from Bend, Oregon. Uh, they now are owned by the big boys. Uh, it says a malt beverage with natural flavor. It is. Doesn't even say what type of beer it is, but anyway, Ten Barrel calls it the Swill. 4.5% alcohol by volume, so not a whole lot. And given the name Swill and low alcohol content, I would guess this is a uh, a uh, chuggable beer, if you will, swiggable. Hey Siri, what's a Swill? Here's some information. Uh, yes, sir. Thanks, Siri. Bixby would have got that shit right. Huh? What? Hmm? We're back. We're back. So. It doesn't say what it is. It doesn't even tell you what type of beer. Oh, it's it a malt beverage. It's gonna be super sweet though. There we go. Lots of. Have you had this before? No, I just malt beverage. It's gonna be. Very... So I've had every beer that Tim Barrel makes, but I had it kind of in a long list of uh, two. You can smell it. It smells really sweet. Yeah. Right. Let's just get into it. Let's, Let's just. Do it. Get your nostrils in there. Well, like a mall, you know, like a Mickey's. and It's got to be better than Mickey's. Not like the Mickey's that Cosby had either. Yeah. It already smells like one of those. Uh... <laughs> yep, it smells like one of those. What do they call it now? One of the bitter ones. Whoa. That's aggressive. Yep. What do you think? Initial, it's almost too too fruity or something. I don't, it's I, yeah, fruity. it's hard to describe the flavor, but uh, fruity. I would say maybe filtered through a Nike shoe. Yeah, it tastes like. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like biting into a nad, uh, tangerine. There you go. Yeah, shoe. that's a good good example of it. Uh, like if you've been into a lemon and a grapefruit at the same time. This one, is it weird? I just want to get this over with. Um, Lord help me. Have you have you had the sour beers before? That's what that's what I was trying to come up with when you were tasting it. That's what it reminds me of because it's aggressive is a nice way to put it. I'm a swill to me implies that it's like you're just gonna keep like tossing them back, and it is light and fruity in that sense. But the flavor is so overwhelming that is not a chug by it's, any means. It's I don't know the swigability. I would, let's just go into swigability. I would say it's probably like a four or five. It's light enough you could do it like a lager, but the flavor is so intense. Full disclosure: we're not big sour fans. I just I don't like it. Mm -mm. It's not the way yeah. God meant to drink beer. Uh, the aftertaste isn't bad to me, honestly. But if you like for a 4.5%, that's aggressive. 4.5? 4.5. Less than a domestic... Yeah, we're drinking water. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Uh, and maybe that's why it's called swill, because of the low alcohol content, so you can have multiple on a hot day, you know? Well, you can pound it down. Yeah. But uh, that initial flavor... I can see if you're out, like... Chasing the cattle, you come in, you have one of these. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not into that. I think uh, most people chasing cattle wouldn't be caught dead drinking this. Yeah, but they're drinking like Coors Light. That's what I'm saying. Light. Bush! Bush. Coors Hams! Bush. The Paps! Let's give some local person love. What do we got? Um, local one? Let's go backside. Get some backside lager. Yes. That's what they'll be drinking. Yep. The, the lager's lager? Or is that the OSP? Taste. Overall taste. What do you got? What do you give it? Right now, 4.5. Yeah, I'm like a, I'm like a 4.7. Not, not great. But we don't like the bitter or the sour beer not beer. my thing if you like the sour beers or the extra like flavorful it. it's not as aggressive as some of the ones we've tried in the mm -hmm. past but i learned pretty quickly that i'm not a fan of sour beers what about swigability for 
Uh, <clears throat> four seven. Okay. As well. Uh, yeah, I would agree with that. About a five or so. Um, marketing. We got a woman in a sun hat, a one-piece bathing suit with sunglasses, and in a. She's in black and white, but her inner tube is orange to match the bottom ring. Pretty basic. Uh, ten going. barrels and swill and giant letters. American Rattler, malt beverage with natural flavor. Uh, very basic marketing, uh, but I do like the clean look of the can, and I like the orange and white pop with the black lettering. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a seven. It's a simplistic, so it's a C, but it does the job. It's a uh, and full disclosure, um, Ten Barrel kind of does the same marketing with absolutely everything they have. It's very basic marketing. It's though. more more about the the beer itself, yeah. if you will. Overall, what are you what are you giving it? Stamp stamp of approval. Uh, for me personally, it's not one I would ever buy again. It's probably about a five yeah. five overall. I'm gonna give it not my favorite. I'm gonna give it. Uh, I'll be a little more generous. I'm gonna give it like a six one. Okay. So you give it a D minus, I give it a solid F. <laughs> uh, but if you do like the, yeah, the sour beers, this is probably definitely. one that you will like. So I don't want to shit on them by any means, but uh, not for us. No. Definitely not for us. In short. <laughs> Insure? Insure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. V vitamins. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate We're it. Out. I watch Karate Kid. I know some stuff. Is it on the uh, Netflix? I don't know. I don't really watch it. <laughs>